We got a good show today on deck. The Cadillac CTSV Supercharged V8 gets an upgrade. It goes 640 horsepower. That's pretty good if you ask me. GM decides that the Ford aluminum trucks suck, but maybe they don't suck that bad. And it's top five fastest fails. This time, drag racing. It all happens right here, right now. So pull up a chair, buckle in, let's do this. So we got a good show today talking about some horsepower cars. I just want you guys to know that I'm thinking about you, handing out these license plates for the best comment on this video. No, you know what, not the best comment. I want you to tell me what you wanna see for the next top five fastest fails. This week is drag racing. Whoever has the most amount of uh, categories, I'm gonna pick that category. And of those people, I'm gonna give one of those person a lucky license plate, so anyways. Comment right now on PowerNationTV.com. When you think about Cadillac, don't you think about luxury? Because when I think about Cadillac, I think about my grandma. But maybe I should be thinking about other things because apparently horsepower is Cadillac's new pedigree. The new 2016 Cadillac CTSV is a beast. It's a supercharged 6.2 liter V8 and it gets even more horsepower than before. Try 640 horsepower, 630 foot pounds of torque. That's what I'm talking about. It lowers the car zero to 60 time all the way down to 3.7 seconds and a top speed of 200 miles per hour. The CTSV is also equipped with a pretty nice brake system. Brembo's, can't go wrong there. The front rotors are 15.3 inch rotors with six piston calipers and the rears are 14.3 with four piston calipers. Connecting all that horsepower to the ground is an eight speed paddle shift and automatic. Cadillac says that the goal of the CTSV is simple. We want to prove that it can keep up with anything overseas pretty much calling out BMW, Audi, and those cars over there. And like before, we have some footage of a BMW M-Series driver that heard the Caddy Supercharger for the first time. Here it is. He doesn't like it. <laughs> it's okay. All right, don't you just hate it when you have to eat your words? I know, I do. if you're married, you know what I'm talking about. It was only about a month ago, however, GM launched a series of ads condemning the Ford F-150's attempt at an aluminum truck including this one. Basically saying that steel is stronger, tougher, and it's easier to work on in case you crash at the job site. And to be honest, if the grizzly bear is attacking me, I would pick a steel cage over an aluminum cage. But what about trucks? I know all my people out there in Pittsburgh right now are saying, where is he going with this whole thing? So I don't think I like it. <laughs> well, just calling a spade a spade. General Motors made the claim. However, on Tuesday, GM just announced that they're going to invest and, I'm sorry, $877 million into their trunk plant in Flint, Michigan for an upgrade in materials for lightweight trucks and SUVs, including a lot of aluminum. GM fans that they're kind of like, uh, I don't know about that. But with federal regulations tightening up to get more fuel mileage out of these vehicles, I wonder if GM is going to have to eat their words and go with the aluminum truck. I guess all we can do is wait and find out. That'd be embarrassing. Run a bunch of ads and then be like, yeah, we're gonna do that. All right, well, enough of the news. It's that time. Top five fastest fails. Here we go. It starts right now. Number five for Fast Fails Friday is a beautiful black and green Camaro. The car is done right. This guy didn't miss anything on this car. It's a show car. It's beautiful. Well, wait till you see this. Number four is the Aussie Slam Fest Pro Modified Series going at it. And uh, it looked good all up until this part. And good run on both sides. Oh, way out of shape for Sean Nissa. That is a huge crash. Head on into the wall, bounces off the opposing. Damn, he hit like a ton of bricks. Wait to see the onboard camera. Keep an eye on his steering wheel. Definitely a hard lick. The worst thing about this is he didn't own the car. It was his friend's car. True story. Coming number three is a 55 Chevy that takes off down the drag strip and he's doing fine. The car in the other lane gets in his lane, scares him a little bit. He loses control and all hell breaks loose. The dude flies out of his window. Oh my God. <laughs> he really did. He was okay, he walked away. Are you Coming in number two is a Lexus. Yeah, it's a Lexus. I know what you're thinking. Why is a Lexus drag racing? Well, wait to see this. Oh my God, oh my God. 
And coming in at number one for top five fastest fails this week is a nasty pro stock crash. One that I've, well, I've seen it a few times now. I ain't gonna lie. He literally cut his car in half. Like, damn. All right, that was good, right? That was a good one, right? If you didn't like it, comment me. Uh, it's been a long day. Hope you guys are having a good time. Best comment of the day gets a license plate autographed. And uh, I'll tell you what, if it's a bad comment, I'll even give you a private message on the back of it. <laughs> Be sure to tune in on social media, PowerNationTV.com. Get connected with us. And uh, for more Power Nation on TV, tune in this Saturday at 8 a.m. on CBS Sports and on Sunday at 9 a.m. on Spike for all the Power Nation that you can handle. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video because I'm picking somebody out and I'm mailing you this. It could be coming in the mail. Have a good rest of your week, everybody, and we'll see you soon. Peace.